Hi, Andy and Linda. Sheila here at Wayakan. Um, 704, is that the number? Anyway, front door, no steps. You come in, big entryway. To your left, immediate left is a pretty big, or not big, a coat closet. Um, Rocky Mountain hardware throughout. So you come in the front door, there's the living room. Stairway. Here is um, Junior Master. It's a big, it's a pretty big room. Walk in closet. Um, fortunately, they did not put double sinks in here. But nicely done. Bathtub shower. And then we'll go back out. There's the entryway. Powder room. Big laundry room, mud room. I think I put a bunch of hooks there. You come in at that big wall, um, come in off the garage into this big laundry room, mudroom, sink, ice maker, back out to the hallway. Here is the garage, no step. Two-car garage. Um, I mean, you could put ski racks and bike racks in here. There's plenty of room. Extra refrigerator. Okay, so let's do the do the more fun stuff. So come in from the front door right there. Here is the living room. Really great light. Looks out at that pond in the stream. Nice views. Okay, so next to the living room is the dining room or dining area again nice views really nice views and then over here is the kitchen I'll walk through the kitchen sub-zero refrigerator <coughs> pull out Shelves. Pull out shelves down below as well. Sub Zero refrigerator. Eight burner wolf cooktop. Rocky Mountain hardware there. That might be, that might not be Rocky Mountain hardware. That might be, uh, our other competitor here. Um, double wolf oven, farmhouse sink, a bar over here, three seats. You could probably do a fourth one around the corner. A three stool. Whoops. Um, on the thought side. Ooh, it's getting windy.
fantastic views. You can get to the patio from these doors off the living room as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go upstairs next. Entry up the stairs, pretty wide stairway. At the top of the stairs is an office, um, double door closet. They're using this for an office. bathroom with a single sink and they don't even have a shower curtain up so they don't use this but obviously ensuite bathroom come back out big landing right here another bedroom dual closets Same setup as the previous bathroom, so it has a shower. Walk out here, and here's the master, which is lovely. Big uh, TV room. Views out there, mountaintops. View of top of Baldy, not the top of Baldy, but uh, above River Run. Giant jetted tub, two sinks, walk-in closet, and then shower, deep shower with a bench. Water closet, and then I'm gonna go. Whoops! I'm gonna go back downstairs and show you um, the basement. But it's not really a basement; it's a daylight basement. And I'll show you. There's a media room downstairs and two more um, bedrooms with a Jack and Jill bathroom. So media room or stairways. Carpet's in pretty good shape. That carpet on the stairs needs to be cleaned, but it's really in pretty good shape. Um, a friend of mine does this art, these barns. Anyway, here is the media room. Here is one of the downstairs bedrooms. And this is what I mean, it's not really a basement because it's more of a daylight basement. So this, these French doors open to this little patio and this retaining wall and landscaping. The other bedroom next door opens to the same patio. And then you've got all the green space as well. Here is the other bedroom. Closet. And then off this bedroom, I shouldn't say it's a Jack and Jill, it's a it's a Jack and Jill to the media room, not to that other bedroom. Again, single sink, 
Nice shower, nice shower doors. And then here's the media room. So the way they've got this set up, it's kind of tight between this bathroom and the media room. I set it up a little differently, but just because it's sort of tight, but it's not that big of a deal. So that's the end of the tour. I will, um, I'll do another video of the outside. I'll walk around the whole place. Okay.